this one I hear is much better. So, um, <laughs> here's hoping. And again, I've maximized the screen. These are the dimensions. Yeah, I don't care. I like the, um, what do they call that? Like, glitch hop? Yeah, I like it. Alright. Let's get murdered. Do I have to click on it? No. Greetings, Lieutenant, and welcome to VR Calibration. Uh, hi. Now, do you want me to give you a brief tutorial, or shall we jump straight in? Uh, the tutorial, please? Hey, this one's got voice acting. Okay, good. I see that there's a uh, mark on my monitor. Ew. I'll have to clean that later with something a bit more uh, potent. As is my directive, I'll try to keep this succinct. There are two primary operators in VR that it is important to familiarize yourself with. Dialogue and hotspots. Dialogue is what you're seeing right now, next to me. Pretty straightforward. Hotspots allow you to interact with the environment, and they come in two forms, optional and critical. Optional hotspots are exactly what the name implies. Interfacing with them is voluntary. By contrast, interfacing with critical hotspots is compulsory and required to advance. To demonstrate, I'll map a critical hotspot to my coordinates. Interface with it when you are ready. Okay, so that's gonna be critical. Like this? Yes, good. Calibration parameters are within reasonable boundaries. <laughs> Amazon notification. Post is on its way. Good to hear. Please note that critical hotspots are marked by a visible arrow. Optional hotspots are not marked until the cursor passes over them. Next, I'll map an optional hotspot to my coordinates, and a critical hotspot to the screen edge. Either can be interfaced with first, but once the critical hotspot has been chosen, the optional hotspot will become unavailable. Optional hotspots can be revisited on subsequent VR operations. Mapping hotspots now. Good. When ready, interface with the critical hotspot. Excellent. Calibration complete. All parameters are within reasonable boundaries. Interference nominal. Yo. God. Oh, what? <laughs> we got straight up murked. Yo. What you think? I've been sleeping really badly as of the last week or so. I've been sleeping really bad. The same dream again. For the eleventh time, if I remember correctly. What do you think of this uh, apartment block overlooking uh, the city? I think it's uh, I think it's pretty legit. Okay, you got the, the wardrobe there. You got the TV up there. I don't know about that. That I don't know what the hell that is. 
computer, the big desk, nice. But where's the, uh, where's the kitchen stuff? Been drinking a lot of coffee lately. Mmm. Walkie walkie. Just various newspaper clippings, recent homicides, cheery stuff. Nice. As bad as my dreams are, it's a long time until morning. I should get some more sleep. Yeah, I like the vibe of it. This one has, like, clearly a more substantial story. Suretta Shuchi. Assignment. Another homicide. Same path. Close to Shibuya Station this time, and body not yet identified. Forensics currently on scene. You will join them in the morning. Admittedly, there may be little point in your presence other than protocol. As usual, please be careful, Lieutenant. Dreams note. The same dream. What? Ah, I see, I see. With the machine. Looks like an assistance droid, although I haven't been able to get a good look, as it happens so quickly. It's the eleventh recurrence. something up with the computer. Damn it. Right. Well. Digital, uh, Curve Digital presents Murder. Murder. A short story by Peter Morgan. Peter Morgan. Oh, she's a smoker. Murder. Murder. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Seize it down. Murder. All right. Waking up. Oh, life. What's up? Whoa, what is this? It is Murder, a uh, Peter Moorhead short game. Looks like you should play the Red Streaks Club too. We'll see, we'll see. Maybe in the future. I've got a lot that I intend to be playing. Now that I think about it, all that coffee might have something to do with my sleeping poorly. So yeah, this is um, like a... Um, it's set in like a dystopian cyberpunk future. Right my alley. Um, this one is a one-shot though, so this will be completed in this stream. We completed a, another Peter Moorhead game called Stranded. There wasn't much meat on the bones of that one. I can friends and... oh. Okay, okay. Yeah, the thing is, uh, life, I do have, like, a lot of games slated. Um, so, for example, I might as well go into the spiel since I've dedicated these two um, games for the second slot. And we've got lots of time, I think. So, on Sundays, uh, I stream The Eternal Castle. Um, 
a game book and spirit bearer but I'm also rotating um, the, the first slot so last Sunday it was the eternal castle we are returning to the messenger again so those two will be in rotation now to, um, on Tuesday it was going to be Halfway, then uh, Twilio Quest, and then Gris. But we are done with them. Um, we are done with Twilio Quest. Um, I got a response back from Twilio support, and basically they wanted like lots of documentation in, in order to like have a sniff at unlocking the account again. And I'm just like, look, this is too much. Like all 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 of this. This is just way too much. So I just say close my account. So in its place. Instead of Twilio Quest, we are going to be having a game called Aeon of Aeons, Aeons of Sand. No, Aeon of Sands. Sorry. <laughs> um, it's a very, um, very unique game. Yeah. So we're going to be playing that and uh, rotating it with uh, Narrative Boy. So both of those games, I'm actually super eager to play those, and those will be rotated in the second slot on Tuesdays. So once again, it would be Pathway, which we've, you know, it took a while to get into that, that first session, but yeah, it would be fine. Then we'll have Narrative Boy and um, Aeon of Sands, and then last, Gris. And then on Thursdays, we're going to be having um, Primordia. Again, like, it's like a dystopian future. I think it looked really cool. It's like a point and click adventure, you know, like the old um, Monkey Island stuff. Um, and I'm really digging it. The puzzles are a bit, you know, maybe a bit beyond my old brain, but <laughs> maybe just uh, I'm overlooking some. Um, there was a, a puzzle right near the end that stumped me near the end. Um, but it's fine, it's fine. We'll, we'll, we'll get in the next session. And then um, in the second slot, so we're talking about today's streams, Thursday streams. So Primordia is going to be the first one. And then in the second slot, today we have Stranded and Murder. But these are going to be one shots, one and done. So in the second slot on Thursdays, we're going to be having Transistor. And we're going to be having XCOM Chimera Squad. And then in the fourth and final slot, or the third slot, we're going to be having Abzu, which is like an underwater adventure chill kind of thing. I might, I might try those games, but um, offline, um, I feel like. Like, I'm, I'm keen to try games, it's just that I have my, I have like a, an idea of, of what I want to put on the streams, and, you know, I just like to pursue that. And to be honest, Life, the last time I took a suggestion from you, I was playing Golden Sun for like nine months straight, so. And also the, 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 the last suggestion was Twilio Quest, so. I appreciate the suggestions, but I think we've got it handled in terms of gameplay. Um, okay, so anyway, back to the game. Back to the game. I'm, I'm pretty certain we're, go we're going to be finishing this one up early, and then I think I'll just dive straight into Abzu. Yeah. Alright, so... Did that one? How about this one? Just another smoggy morning. Smoggy. Oh no! Damn it. Oh, okay, I can, I can still. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Just another smoggy morning. You see, there are um, optional um, things and then there are critical. This one's a critical. If I click on it, all the other optional things fade away. Cool, cool. Thank you, Life. I should probably reduce my caffeine intake somewhat. You should reduce it all the way to zero like your boy here. No caffeine life, it's the best life. You should try it. it makes you less jittery, it makes you sleep like a and stone. Trust me, bro. Probably ought to tidy that up, you know, at some point. Protagonist is a Just lazy. Just another smoggy morning. A lazy bee. No time to use the computer right now. Always I need to get to work. Always time to use computer before work. Always time. All right, I think uh, we're done here.
You like that coffee, huh? Anytime before 3 p.m. I mean, don't get me wrong, I love um, caffeine. It's good, coffee's good, green tea's good. I like it, it's just um, the benefits of no caffeine just far away the benefits of having coffee for me. My energy is much more stable and uh, I sleep better, so. Seems like they're having a party or something. Ugh, you've been sitting there for months now, damn thing. Isn't anyone coming to scrap you? Master moved apartment last November and asked me to remain here. Optimally, he'll come to collect me soon. I require urgent maintenance. So why not just fix yourself up and get out? Newer models can self-maintain as of kernel patch 2.68.5RC. I was not eligible for this upgrade. Interesting. Yeah, um, a lot of people use caffeine to, to fuel what they're doing. Um, I mean, I did for years, obviously. Um, but I feel like um, if you train your, so yourself, you can do just as well without the caffeine. That's just my opinion. Ugh, you've been sitting there for months. Isn't anyone... Master Moon Optimus. So what? You were my... I was not... Okay. I don't think anyone lives here anymore. Crazy after a while past it. Future elevators will look like that, of course. Ooh. Feeling the effects of stress and worry? Aqua Luxurious New Life Operation treats worry levels quickly and effectively. Smooth, subtle, and beautiful. Aqua Luxuria. Be luxurious. No, your thinking is correct. Humans function fine for thousands of years before stimulants. True, true. Um, we're also, you know. Um, now I've lost my train of thought. I'm, I'm just focusing on that, that dude in the VR over there. He looks busy. I better not bother him. He's on his switch, yeah. Oh, I like that. Yeah. I like the sprites in this. It's definitely an aesthetic. Um. No matter how efficient the trains get, people will always complain about them. Those people should try living in Kabukicho. <laughs> yeah, very true. Did you see that Aqua Luxuria ad on the escalator? I really want to try out the new range, but it's so expensive. Still, I guess you get what you pay for. Their cosmetics really are the best around. I wouldn't really know. I like turtles. Got that Uniqlo. Wait, are you trying to talk to me? Yeah. Sorry if I've got my headphones on. It probably means I'm not looking to make conversation. Hate all people. <laughs> As you can tell, this is based on art. Uh...